uneasy silence at Alliance High School, the academic giant that has been in existence for nearly 91 years now. In the wake of a shocking audit report that painted the Center of Excellence as a torture chamber of sorts, we went to the school on a fact-finding mission. A lot was going on. Police had come for some six prefects as the school management held meetings with Ministry of Education officials. We are traumatized. A Form 1 child is currently nursing serious wounds following a beating that preceded a horrifying 3 a.m. ritual where victims would be made to lie on the graves of the school founders, as the report stated. There were 10 boys in the room when this, boys, this boy was injured. Okay? Six were involved in brutalizing him. Four did not participate. But there were prefects with the responsibility of helping instill discipline who stood there as bystanders. They did not stop their, their friends or their colleagues from doing what they did. So all the 10 of them have been demoted from being prefects. His mistake was voicing an objection to a prefect's order. Something as simple and as petty as when you clean the classroom. And they're not saying they're not clean, they're not, they're not saying they're not clean the classroom. And all they, he said is, I spoke out and said, we will do it next week, not this week. All six suspects were Form 4 students. They now face assault charges, for which they all denied. Subjects numbers 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6 to be remanded at Kiambu Zone. One of them has already turned 19. <laughs> Harrowing tales of violent induction of students into Form 1 and harassment by monster prefects have repeatedly been told in this country. But this latest incident in the country's top school is a clear indication that what had become a new normal has in fact reached crisis proportions. We are seeing a, a fellow student meeting out torture on a, another student. It has never gotten to this. But like I said, it is started slowly. We believe the boys felt the, the top hierarchy took a step back. I don't want to say they abdicated their responsibility. They, they, it took a step back. And that's the vacuum these boys have been feeling. And we had a, a, a very candid talk with the teachers yesterday for one and a half hours. If there is bullying, let us discuss if, there is, if truly there is bullying. And if there was a quality assurance and standard report that was generated, Mr. Minister, go back to Alliance and let it be presented to the Board of Management, be discussed by teachers, PT and everyone else, for correction. We must be progressive in our thinking. The school's former principal who took early retirement last week, the deputy principal as well as the acting chairman of the Board of Management have already recorded statements with the police. The house masters of the school's nine dormitories will also be interrogated in an investigation that is expected to restore the lost glory of the country's oldest school. Sylvia Tibet, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.